Hi, this is Christy with Guide Post to Wellness. It has been two weeks since I started my mindfulness meditation challenge and I wanted to do a quick update. So I've been tracking it a couple different ways using done and habits. Um, it turns out that I was going to try to use the app Streak It as well, but you have to be on Facebook for that and I'm not on Facebook anymore. And so I've been using habits and done and Believe it or not, I was kind of surprised by myself that I haven't been keeping up with the paper calendar very well at all. So I've, I've been relying on my phone and I really like um, both the apps. I really like the Habit app and I think I'm going to add a new um, habit to track on that and see how that works. I have reminders set up on that and um, it, it's working really well. So it's been today's day 14 and I have meditated 13 out of 14 days which is good I gave myself the goal of uh, six out of seven days a week to give myself kind of a day off in case anything went awry I've primarily have been using the Zen 12 app I really like that because I can go by for example if I only have 12 minutes on my lunch break or you know just in the middle of a day and I want to grab a, a shorter version I can um, if I want to do like 20 minutes, I can do one of the longer, like level 11 or 12, and they are up to like 19, 20 minutes. And I also really like the variety. Um, I'm just a huge proponent of that app because, um, or that program, because it's just so much variety, so high quality. I mean, you feel like you've, you've had a, a nap and a massage at the same time when you get done. So. Some of the days I haven't done that, I've just done more deep breathing or mindfulness types of things if I didn't have my phone with me or something like that. Um, one day I actually mysteriously got knocked in the head while I was meditating on the grass. I think one of my cats ran into me. That was kind of a bizarre meditation day. Um, I had to restart and finish that one up. Uh, so just imagine lying on a towel in the backyard with your eyes closed and listening to this wonderful nature or music meditation, then all of a sudden you get smacked in the side of the head and your glasses are knocked off. <laughs> I really had no idea what hit me, so that was kind of funny. But that was probably about the most exciting thing that happened during my uh, meditation month. I, I really know that the meditation helps me on a daily basis, keep a, an even emotional keel, uh, sleep, well just handle stress uh, for example we had a water leak underneath our kitchen sink that we had to fix you know just different little things like that and i just know that the more i'm mindful on a regular basis the more it, it supports my overall overall health and well-being so uh, i really recommend the app habit i really like that one uh, done is nice as well i just like habit a little bit better of the of the two and so I'm going to continue on and do another update in about two weeks. I'd love to hear from anybody else out there that has been doing the mindfulness or meditation challenge and seeing how they're liking it and seeing if they're noticing any wellness improvements in the two-week period. So I'd love to hear your comments below. It's not too late to start if you want to start now. Any day is a good day to start being mindful. You'll feel the benefits right away. And again, I'll put some links down below for the Zen 12 and another meditation program that I like that um, uses binaural beats and some other brain entrainment technology, which just makes it easier to meditate because it is challenging to try to clear your mind and, and do the deep breathing and, and get to the point where you're, you're having those positive effects. Why not use a tool that'll let you do it uh, easily and it'll take all the hard work out of it. So. I'll put those links down below. It's been great talking to you. I'm going to get inside before the rain hits, so be well.